Chadash party is running in different form, in the form of a joint list with fractions which are different ideology-wise, politically, socially, different with their ideas. So we need to explain to our supporters and to all the others, what's the story of this joint list? What are we going to fight for? What are our goals? Where are we heading? Yes, uh, Shai ben Ari, thank you very much. Just ask them, how come, uh, I know that in the uh, joint list there are some um, Muslim and the Islamic uh, movement, how come they are in a bar in Tel Aviv? This is something uh, that they... The reason, the reason exactly. is... Yes, uh, uh, we did actually manage to... Yes, continue. Yeah, uh, we did actually manage to talk to Ida Tuman, who was also a candidate for Hadash, and we asked her about those issues uh, regarding how uh, she thinks, for example, the Islamic movement would accept her being in a place with alcohol, a woman. Uh, these are questions that are perhaps difficult to answer. Her answer was that uh, the Air Joint List has agreed to put these uh, difficult points uh, aside and just to focus on the common ground between them. I'm not sure how much common ground there is, but there, <laughs> certainly a merger has been decided, and it seems that there is a lot of momentum within uh, the Arab community within Israel. They're expected to at least maintain their power in the previous parliament, and a lot of them, a lot of people expect a, a, a rise of a few mandates. Yeah, you said it best, uh, Shai. I don't understand how Cheers. much, uh, how much uh, common ground they have. Shai ben -Ori, thank you very, very much for this. Listen, outside of Tel Aviv, the accent is on the list. In Tel Aviv, it's on joint. Uh, <laughs> Tal, uh, you know, it seems that Ayman Oli is uh, becoming, at the head of the joint list, is becoming a major player in these elections. I don't think that even the joint list realized how much of a rock star he became with the Israeli society. They thought that they were going to put him like in the top, Ayman. he's yes, I'm an older. He's going to be in the top. He's going to just symbolize like the joint list, and that's it. But day by day, and uh, that is, every day that is passing, we are seeing that he is becoming the new face of the Israeli Arabs, and this is a major change. Even yes, but he has his problems. You know, uh, just last week with the whole surplus agreement uh, and the additional vote, it exposed that it is might be a joint list, but it's definitely not united. And of the day course. after the elections, there will be many questions ha about policy, not only about statements, but about policy. And someone pointed out to me a few days ago, and I think it has some sense, it could be interesting, maybe the right thing would be that Hadash, which is, a, which is a coexistence party, which is a Jewish Arab party, maybe when we look back, it would be more logical for them to unite with Meretz and for the Arab <laughs> party to have their own joint list, because the fact is that Ayman Uda has at the moment put Meretz in a very, very dangerous place, and Meretz is very concerned of the situation in the day after the ballots. Yeah. Um, even if um, Ayman Uda and Hadash do not split from the joint list and uh, join Meretz, as uh, Tal suggested, it is enough for them when they hold their caucus, the joint list, and uh, try to decide uh, what are they doing, going to do when they are being invited by President Rivlin? They don't have um, to find common ground. Perhaps the five members um, headed by Ode will recommend Herzog, the other ten will abstain, and perhaps later there will be this split with Ode joining the Herzog government as a minister. This is a possibility. Okay, so let's talk numbers, if I may. We talk just numbers. gave we just gave a wake to the prime minister. Yes. Let's revive him, as the numbers stand now. Okay. Whether it will happen or not, right now, um, it goes like this: center left, fifty-five seats. Center left, fifty-five seats. Center right, fifty-four seats. Without the R. Wait, wait. That includes within the center left. Yeshatid, and the joint list. Now. The nine seats who are left in the middle, after we combine the 111 seats, are the nine seats of Kahlon. Now, let's be realistic. What we saw in the last few days, and I can say that here in the international channel, not in Israeli channel, we saw again European-American Jews full of racism against Mideastern Jews. We saw that more than once. We saw that Saturday night, so that Sunday night, we heard that today in Galatz, from Sternal, we heard that again from Sobol, and so on and so forth. Yes. I do not believe... Just explain a little bit more. Well, we saw, we, our... saw people, we saw people were talking about the notion of the Jewish belief um, in, in, in uh, Rebbenites and so on, and, and holy graves, which is commonly associated with Mideastern Jews. They were talking about it, and they were ridiculing it. Now, here goes. Kahlon 
would like to consider himself.